what is going on guys my name is Neil Bahamut 101 today I'm playing Fallout 76 on the PS4 now for all those happy little people out there we've just had the latest update uh, basically the prospector is now live so for all those people who have been hoarding all those lovely little scripts or those lovely little exotic items or legendary items whatever you want to call them now is your time to go out there and cash them in. Now, literally, I've only just found out that it went live a couple of minutes ago. Uh, so literally, before I head out, because I've got to go to work soon, I thought I'd do this quick video for you guys. And you can get my reaction on what I'm going to spend it on. Now, <clears throat> as far as I'm aware... You can get uh, one star, two star, three stars on armors, weapons, and the weapons vary from melee weapon to ranged weapon, depending on what you want. You can also get uh, the bog standard stuff as well. Right, so let me just move my little way home from home. Now, literally, this is my pad up here nice little place got some nice little bit of uh, garden going over here I do have a Brahman thing here which seems to have glitched out but hey one thing I want to do before we go anywhere is big shout out to my mate Victor aka she is with stupid uh, thanks to him we got this thing working it is an automatic door now, the th reason I've got this built was because every time someone came to my place, they would literally leave the front door open, and I'd find ghouls in there. It really does upset me sometimes. But with this, onto the platform, door opens. Straight in, door closes. And again, onto the pressure plate, door closes. And sometimes that happens. But no, thank you very much, Victor, for helping me out with that one. Right. Onwards and upwards we go. Right, so, as you can see, a lot of people are already over here. So that's either a good thing or a bad thing. We're about to find out. And as you can see there, my gorgeous power armor that was the new uh, raider power armor that was available I missed out on the first one which I was a little bit upset about but when I found out this one was available I had to get it because I loved the idea of the raider excavator armor and it looks more menacing than the original so no I'm quite happy weapon in hand there is actually the uh, previous uh, survival world weapon uh, literally, me and a mate just basically went in together and we just grinded for it. We were lucky to get it. And I'm over the moon that I got it. Because I now have made it my primary weapon. I've actually given it a prime receiver. Uh, if I can quickly just show you guys before I get down to what's his name. Resident Veteran. It's got a prime receiver, it has long barrel, comfort grip, standard magazine, front sight ring, and no muzzle attachment. I am working on that one. But here we go guys, this is the vendor. And as you can see, the front door is now unlocked. Nice little place. Home away from home. And okay, fair enough. Right. So here you've got your stash so you can get bits and pieces. And by the looks of it it could be interesting. Right, here we go. So straight away we have legendary arms, weapons. But I'm surprised there is no mystery box one, because that's what they were suggesting. There was going to be like a mystery box. You could spend like 35 caps, or 35 of it, 
to get it, which I'm actually a little upset about. But still, no. I have 563, so I'm going to get five legendary weapons. Here we go. So I got a Berserker's Harpoon Gun. Not bad, not bad, not bad. Next up. An Auto Grenade Launcher, PvP weapon. A mutant oh god no 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 I'm trying to find myself a new weapon here Ugh, I feel dirty mutant western revolver Ugh, again pistols come on last chance saloon here we go and an anti-armor double barrel shotgun Okay, let's go with one more uh, for 50. And a troubleshooter's railway rifle. Right, okay. Now, before I get murked, let's leave here. Go back to camp, and I will do a quick review on these weapons that I've just acquired. Now, I'm looking for something to basically take over my damage dealing weapon to begin with um, a good rifle weapon or a good heavy weapon basically my Gatling gun is, or short Gatling gun is a good weapon but the problem is it uses ultra sight ammo and that stuff expensive as fudge so literally I do not want to be spending something on weak enemies and hello the rainbow glitch has kicked in again La River Disco sorry about that but literally this happens every now and then I come on and it looks like the forest is having a rave you gotta love Fallout Okay, there's... Oh, there we go, guys. Server not responding. Again. This is going to be a minor issue every now and then this does happen. I do apologise about this, guys. As soon as I can get back into the world, we will check out these weapons. And we will get a look at this. Now, that little thing has happened to me like four or five times this week. Personally... It's not an issue. My biggest issue with it is literally because I've done that and I've moved. When I log in, will I have the weapons in question that I've just got, or am I going to get re-rolled back five minutes? Because I know that sometimes I've done things in the past and servers disconnected. It rolls back the last 10 minutes of what you saved. So we'll wait and see. We'll wait and see. As soon as we load in, I'll double check. I mean, again, I do apologize about this, guys. Literally, with the increase of people uh, joining on because of this thing today, I'm expecting it to be laggy as anything. But these things happen. Okay, right. First of all, let's double check my weapons. Okay, server is having fun and games again. Nope, it definitely gave me the weapons. Right, okay. So let's just quickly run back to the town as you can see my good friend there stupid to try to do shopping doesn't realize that we're there Come on. there we go right so we've loaded it in and the forest is still having a rave, yes siree. And 
Alright, as you can guess, I have the marsupial perk, which allows me to jump higher. It is the only mutation I have. Just waiting for my base to suddenly come back in. Come on. Now, I do have a backup place. Um, if the doors do not open properly, because I have marsupial, there is actually a little doorway here, which I can access into here. Just waiting for this to come through. Okay, the game's taking some time. There we go. It's loaded in. Yeah, so literally, I would normally just walk through that door there. It is unlocked. So, anyone who wants to come in, more than welcome. You've got a couple of shops here if you see me online. All the things are here for your amenities, your ammo, and all that. But further ado, let's check out these weapons that I just acquired. Right, so. No. Ah, uh, dang it. Weapons. Right, here we go. So, to begin with, we have this shotgun. So, it is an anti armor double barrel shotgun. It has explosive rounds, which is always nice to see. It has a faster ADS down sights. And it ignores 50% of your target's armor. It does 143 damage. Now that's okay, but I'm not a great lover of shotguns. Uh, literally, as far as I'm aware, shotguns are good if you do a shotgun build. But I'm a rifle and heavy weapons guy. So that one may be going up for sale soon. Uh, next up we have a grenade launcher. This is a auto grenade launcher. 10% damage against players and extra 10% was ADS and gives you one agility. Not a bad weapon actually. And again, 120 damage, base damage, that's not bad. That's actually quite interesting. Uh, next up we have the Berserker's Harpoon Cannon. More damage when your damage resistance is lower, so basically when I'm out of power armor in my basic armor, this is actually not a bad weapon. Gets an additional 10% damage whilst aiming down sights, and I get one plus agility for that as well. Uh, looking at it, 227, two, actually, that looks like really nice. If this was a double shot, then yeah, I would definitely be doing that because it's add fletching uh, rounds to this, and you'd be laughing. Uh, let's see, that's one of my ones. Uh, right, here we go. Mutant Slayer's Pipe Revolver. I am going to puke. I do apologize for dissing on this thing, but literally, a pipe revolver. Cheers, Bethesda. Oh, God. I'm not going to complain too much. I can always just uh, hand this in to something else. Uh, but again, 50 damage resistance whilst ADS. You gain 30 damage percent against super mutants and it fires 25% faster. If you're into pipe guns and you're into the whole uh, pistol build, then that might not be a bad one for you. Uh, again, another revolver, the mutant western revolver we picked up. Your VATS criticals fill 15% faster, which is not a bad thing. 25% faster reload, uh, fire rate, sorry. That is not a bad thing. Uh, damage increased by 10% if you are mutated. And that's okay, I am mutated so it would do a lot of damage. But again, it's a pistol. I'm not specced into pistols. So I would struggle. Uh, and last but not least, we have the Troubleshooter Railway Rifle. Uh, bullets explode for an area, so it's explosive rounds. And it does plus 30 damage against robots. Now, this one isn't too bad. It's literally a rifle, which is what I'm looking for. And it is 143 damage, which is actually quite nice. It can fire slowly, but I've got other things to fix on that. Uh, signal flares for Vertibots. Recently, I found that out uh, brings like little Vertibots around your area. And that's... I do apologise guys, uh, sounds like the neighbours are getting a bit restless. Excuse me sir, get off me land! Thank you very much. <sighs> any more? Any more for any more? No? Right. 
I have these shotgun turrets here just basically because as you can see we have the raider camp just over there you rarely get anything come down this way but when they do they do get a bit annoying anyway guys thank you very much for watching the video if you enjoyed it leave a like comment and oh, there we go thank you for watching guys take care of yourselves goodbye